Hey guys, before we watch all of season one, I would like to address the loudness of Caillou and Rosie's voices. I have to upload them separately because the ones on Rapper Offline don't work, so they always turn out a bit loud. Starting episode six, I'll make them quieter. Sorry about that. Now, without further ado, let's fucking watch this shit. Kalu, get your lazy ASS out of bed right now 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 now. What? But it's Saturday. Did you forget that it's also your 18th birthday? Oh no, that means today is. Yes, it's your final punishment day before I get you out of the house. Let's just get this over with. Oh, and if you're wondering where Rosie is, we already bought her a mansion out in Beverly Hills, so eat that. Wow, seriously dad, Rosie is only 16 years old. How the hell do you expect her to be able to handle herself in a giant mansion? Because she was always better at taking care of herself than you, you bald lazy brat. Okay, enough cheat chat, Doris, would you like to take the lead on the first punishment? Sure. First punishment, being forced to watch the most disturbing shit I've ever seen. Um, 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 mom what do you mean? Oh my freaking god what are they doing to each other that's not supposed to be outside your body holy crap I think I'm going to throw up. Wait, I swear I just felt sick a second ago. What happened? I used Go Animate Logic to cure you. Wait, seriously? This is not a Samster 5677 video. Go Animate Logic doesn't exist anywhere else. Be quiet you little shit or I will pulverize you. Second punishment. Doing the Klim Hazard on you just like Cloud from Final Fantasy 7. Wait, what is that? My chest is bleeding and I think my rib cage is open now. Ouch, 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 ouch. Oh, come on, Caillou. You still have eight punishments to go. Get up. Third punishment getting a concussion timed by Fred. Okay, Fred. You're up. Oh hell yeah, I've been waiting for this. Fred, wait please. <laughs> oh oh wow, whoa, 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 that hurts so much and now I am so pissed that I could just uh, <laughs> Oh no, I think we just turned him into a teeth kid. You're damn right you turned me into a teeth kid. Now prepare for me to give you the worst beating of your lives. Fred, you should really consider moving out of the way before I punch the crap out of you. No. I will not let you hurt your own parents. My parents have done nothing but brutally torture me and ground me for the last 14 years of my life and now I finally have a chance to retaliate against them. Get. Out. Of. My. Way. No. I refuse to let you rampage as a teeth kid again. Fine. But just remember whatever happens next is your fault. My face is bleeding one That's it Kanye. I've had enough of your bullcrap and I'm sending you flying all the way back to your house. Wait, what? I'm going to go get absolutely hammered. No 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 I lost my teeth kid powers one Oh, good. You're back. We can get on with the rest of the punishments now. Fourth punishment, being forced to watch a video I made of Chuck E. Cheese is being burned to the ground. No, 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 please, 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 dad, that is pure torture. You know how much I love Chuck E. Cheese's. Too bad. So sad. Get to watching.
Fifth punishment, making your room look identical to Rosie's. No 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 my room is gone and so is everything I love. Sixth punishment, forcing you to watch all the Twilight movies in a marathon. Wow, this is actually kind of cool. Wow, you're the first person I've heard say that. Yay 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 that was the best quintology I have ever seen. God damn it. That backfired. Eighth punishment. Forcing you to watch Rosie having a successful life. Wow, that's just cruel. Okay, Rosie, let's see what's going on in your life. Hey, Rosie, we're finally all alone. You wanna do it? Um, maybe, but I'm a bit nervous. There's a first time for everything, isn't there? Well, I guess it's worth a shot. Oh, 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 oh. So that piece of crap thinks he can put his hands on my daughter? Caillou, your eighth punishment is to go beat the absolute crap out of him until he looks completely unrecognizable. Um, Mike, I'm starting to have second feelings about this. Be quiet and lie there until I say you can get up, you freaking bad bitch. What the fuck did you just call my sister a bitch? Now stay down until you bleed out you pervert. Sorry Rosie, but that is going to be me back with Go Animate Logic any second now. Wait how? This isn't a Samster 5677 video. I tried telling him that, but you know dad, he is way too stubborn to follow the laws of the universe. Ninth punishment, inserting this torch up your ass until your insides are completely cooked. Oh my god that has to be the most violent punishment I can think of. Oh. We'll see about that. You do have one more punishment after this, you know. Oh my freaking god, dad, stop, 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 stop. I can feel my intestines becoming a line of sausage. Tenth and final ever punishment, leaving you to survive on your own now that you're a legal adult. Goodbye forever, Caillou. Well, now that dad's gone. I guess I'll just call Rosie to come pick me up in her helicopter since she's super rich now. Hey Rosie, could you fly your helicopter to Go City and pick me up? Dad just kicked me out of the house and I have no clue what to do now. Oh no you don't you freaking bald brat. You're going to live with me forever and ever and ever now that you said that I... <laughs> oh yeah? Watch this. What the? I can't move. What's going on? I froze you in place permanently and took away your ability to use Go Animate Logic. You see, Go Animate Logic can only be used on people who can also use Go Animate Logic, which is everyone. But now that I removed your ability to use it, you can never be freed from this prison. You're just going to be stuck here forever. This is payback for all those years you and mom mistreated me. Goodbye forever you fucking sleazebag of a father. Holy shit Rosie Go City and LA are not at all far apart from each other where the hell are you? My legs are so exhausted I can barely stand. Come on Rosie. Wait, is that? Yes, finally she's here. I can give my damn legs a break. Wait Rosie you're going too fast. You're gonna overshoot the landing area. Rosie. Rosie I'm over here. Oh crap, she thinks I'm still in the forest since that's where I called her. Damn it, if only I had a flare gun or something to signal her. Wait, that looks like a military base in the distance. I'll bet they have a flare gun. But how do I get in? HMM, it looks like I'm just gonna have to sneak my way in and hope I don't get seen. Sorry Rosie, I won't be long, hopefully. 
Man, how far did Boris drive Caillou for his punishment? It's been a few hours and no sign of him. Maybe I should check his find my iPhone. That's odd. Why is he just standing still? Did he drop his phone? If he did, I'd better go get it so he doesn't flip out in an unmatched form of rage when he finds out he lost it. Oh crap, I forgot we only have one car. I guess I'll just call Elena and ask to borrow hers. Hi Doris, what's going on? Hi Elena, Boris just took Caillou out to the woods for his last punishment and he hasn't returned. I'm getting a bit worried so I want to borrow your car to check on him since he drove out there with our only car. Of course you can. Come to my house and I'll give you the keys. Thank you so much. I'm on my way now. Should I come with? Sure, why not? Rosie, I already told you that I'm stuck like this. Nothing you can do will save me. Well, to be honest, you kind of deserve a punishment for torturing Caillou his entire life. Wait, I thought you were on board with what we did to him. Are you insane? There is absolutely no way I support what you did to him. I only acted like I did because I was terrified of what you would do to me if I wasn't on your side. But now that you're nothing more than a stature that can talk, I can finally say this to you. Wait, Rosie? What on earth are you doing here? Well, Dad, do you want to tell her? Yeah, fine. As I was leaving after giving Caillou his last punishment, I overheard him call Rosie to come get him so I tried sabotaging his only means of a comfortable life. But he froze me in place and removed my ability to use Go Animate Logic so I couldn't free myself. And before you try freeing me, Go Animate Logic only works on people who can also use Go Animate Logic, and since I can't, I'm just stuck here until I starve. Oh, oh when I get my hands on that bread, he is going to get the largest beating of his life. Grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
What's he up to now? It's a long story. Just get the gang and meet us at the forest outside of Ghost City. Ugh, fine. Just let this hangover pass please. Don't worry Fred I got you. That was probably the most logical use of GoAnimate logic I've ever seen, seeing as a Go Animator did it. Now it's time to get the gang and meet Doris. Man, they grow up so fast. Like I haven't seen Scooby sleeping this long after McDonald's. Yeah, that has to be the longest he's slept from that stuff. Can you guys please shut up? I'm trying to watch the best show on Earth, The Kardashians, and you're being too loud. Daphne, that show is actually hilariously bad. Shut up Shaggy. It's a show for the girls. Guys are too dumb to understand. Daphne, I'm a girl too, but I agree with Shaggy. This show is pretty bad. Oh. Velma, I can't believe you just threw your girl card out the window like that. The Kardashians is the greatest show to ever grace the earth. What is? The Kardashians on Hulu. No it isn't. In fact it is very very far from that. No one gives a single crap about those plastic monsters. But that's not important right now. What's important is that we're going to meet Doris in the woods for a mission. Oh cool. Can we stop for- And I swear to God Shaggy if you ask to stop for McDonald's I am going to give you something that will make you beg for a concussion time. Okay okay fine. Like you don't have to get all mad about it. Oh really? I think I have a reason to get mad at you single-handedly keeping the chitty McDonald's in business with how many burgers you and Scooby have eaten in the past few days. Hey, I understand you calling me out for that, but leave Scooby out. Like he's just a dog. Wow. Shaggy, I've never seen anyone stand up to Fred like that. Yeah, what's gotten into you? I may eat tons and tons of McDonald's every day, but that's what I do. And I'm not gonna let you tell me no. Not anymore. Oh yeah? yeah? And what are you gonna do against the concussion beast? This. Oh my god, someone help me, I'm being choked. Ouch, 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 I think my back is broken. Why? And that was only one over one billion percent of my power. So watch your step, Fred. Okay, Shaggy. I'm sorry for saying no to your McDonald's. Oh, it's not that I'm mad about. I'm mad because you brought Scooby into this when he's just a dog and can't control his hunger as well as us humans can. Now I believe we had a mission to do. Fix yourself up with GoAnimate logic and meet us in the mystery machine. Holy freaking crap I didn't think Shaggy had it in him. I just wish I was recording. Yeah Fred, looks like your concussion beast title is useless against Shaggy. Well, there goes all of my pride out the freaking window. Gee. It sure is boring around here. Kid, just be quiet until we find that helicopter. But I've been down here for hours and nothing's happened yet. You think I want to be down here? Just sit tight and hold on. Okay, I found the helicopter. It's parked in the woods a few miles from here. Oh hell yeah, time to get out of here. Not so fast, kid. You think guns are gonna stop me? Get out of my way. Or what? <laughs> Open fire. Fucking leave the eight. I'm flying me. Oh shit, wrong way. Man, like it sure is nice to have this new mystery machine with the comfy seats. Yeah, Fred. This is really nice. Thank you, Daphne. It cost a pretty penny to get this new and improved mystery machine. <laughs> um, does anyone else hear something? Um, no? Shaggy? Like I don't know what you're talking about, Fred. I only hear the car. I don't hear anything either. Odd. I swear I can hear someone saying a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a well, whatever. Maybe I'm still hallucinating from that massive hangover earlier today. Um, Fred, you actually might not be. What do you mean, Shaggy? Look out the window. What the heck? Why is Caillou flying as a teeth kid? I told you I wouldn't be long nosy. Oh, hey, Boris. 
Hi Fred, what's up? You know why you're here, right? Yeah, you have a mission for us. What is it? I want you to kill Caillou. Wait, kill him? I normally settle for a concussion time or something. No more concussion times for him. I want him to die. Why though? Look what that monster did to my love Boris. A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A. What do you mean? He looks fine. Oh yeah. Try moving me. Um, okay. What the? You can try as hard as you want. I'm not moving. That's weird. Did Caillou freeze you in place or something? That's exactly what happened. He froze me here forever and took my away my ability to use Go Animate Logic so I couldn't free myself. Wow, so you're just stuck here? Yeah, I am. Guess I should have seen this coming after all those years of mistreating Kalu. Wait, I think I have an idea on how to get you unfrozen. OMG 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 please tell me. How do we get Boris and Frozen? My parents have done nothing but brutally torture me and ground me for the last 14 years of my life and now I finally have a chance to retaliate against... Actually, never mind. What I thought would work wouldn't at all. No. You know something. Spell it right now or I am going to freaking destroy you. Okay, but on one condition. You let Caillou live. Do you actually think I'm gonna fall for that? You better, or your sweet love Boris is gonna be stuck here forever. Sweet love Boris? What are you saying Fred? I'm saying after giving it some thought, you deserve to be here for what you and your bitch wife Doris did to Caillou. What the fuck did you just call me? I called you a bitch, bitch. Caillou's childhood was completely ruined by you two pathetic excuses for parents. Says the guy who gives people concussions for absolutely no reason. Maybe then. But Shaggy put me in my place earlier today and made me realize just how much pain Caillou must have went through because of you guys. Oh really? Well it looks like Shaggy needs to not be a part of this then. Hey, Doris. Did you not hear what Fred said a few seconds ago? I put him in his place. I humbled the concussion beast, so you had better not be thinking of doing something stupid. Shut up Shaggy. I need the concussion beast for this, not your worthless ass. Get out of here and take the gang with you. Fine. Asshole. Now that those two are gone, Fred, what were you saying about something to free Boris? I'm not saying a word about that crap. Consider me gone with the gang. Oh, Fred, 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 get the hell back here right now. A, e, 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 Rosie. Rosie wake up. Oh no. No 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 no. What the? Caillou? What are you doing here? What do you think I'm doing? I'm coming over here so you can fly me away in your helicopter. Oh yeah. Man, I guess mom hit me so hard I forgot where I was for a while. She did what? Not now. I'll explain when we get to my house. Good idea. Come on, come on, hurry up.
You're not getting away that easy, G-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-
We've just found this woman outside the station and are currently working on revitalizing her. What the? Where am I? Wait, what? Oh. Are you an astronaut? Is this a space station? Well, I just want you to know I'm not sorry about this. Um, uh, give me a minute. I was free king kidding when I said she ended up in space well looks like she's headed back here gotta tell the gang I'll see you later Samsters ah uh, McDonald's never fails to hit right guys I don't know you being fat as hell after every meal is something I'll never get used to say whatever you want Daphne but I'm happy Wow Shaggy's fat as fuck again. Honestly, I don't know why I'm surprised at this point. This happens literally every time you eat here. Anyway, eating break is over. We gotta find Caillou and safeguard him. Why? Wasn't Doris launched into space? She was, but she was rescued by ISS astronauts before she woke up, busted the ISS open killing all the astronauts, and jumped back to Earth. I'm pretty sure she'll be here soon. Wait. The ISS is destroyed? Just follow me to the car. I'll explain in detail there. No hard feelings. What do you mean? I'll wait for you in the van. So Fred, were you gonna explain what happened? Yeah. So after Shaggy sent Doris flying, she must have ended up on or near the ISS. Which is why the astronauts in there rescued her. When she came to, she immediately latched herself onto the ceiling because of the lack of gravity and launched herself through the floor, breaking open the ISS and killing everyone. Honestly, I have no clue what's up with her. Maybe Caillou freezing Boris in place drove her insane. Oh, speaking of Caillou, I better call him and ask where he's at. Hello, Caillou? It's Fred. I'm just calling to see where you're at. Piss off you concussion giving faggot. Oh my god, I'm on your side Caillou. I saw what a freaking creep your mother is and I'm offering to protect you. I'm an adult now Fred, I don't need your help. Besides, I destroyed you in teeth kid form so I've proven I can handle myself. I'm offering to help you you freaking idiot. Listen, Doris is probably gonna come crash landing to the earth in a few minutes, and when she does, she'll be on the prowl for you. Then I'll handle her myself. Now piss oh, off. Oh for God's sake, give me the phone. Fred, it's Rosie. I'm flying Caillou to my mansion in Beverly Hills. If you wanna help him, meet us at 806 North Rodeo Drive. Got it? Got it. Thanks Rosie. Alright gang. Time to pack your crap. We're going to Beverly Hills. Holy freaking crap, we're moving to Beverly Hills? This is a dream come true. I think we're just gonna stay until Doris is dealt with. Because I doubt Fred can afford to live in Beverly Hills. Actually, I'm not gonna be paying for anything. Rosie offered us to stay in her mansion. What? We got a freaking mansion? Holy crap I am totes bragging about this for the rest of my life yay 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 yay. Oh hey Shaggy. Where were you? Just on a mission with Fred. Anyway, we're going to Beverly Hills for a while. Really? Count me in. Of course. I'm not leaving you here. This is gonna be so totes awesome. Man, I can't stop thinking about what Shaggy said about not staying there. Dora seems pretty powerful to have survived floating in space for however long, so fending her off isn't gonna be easy. In fact, Shaggy had to use some of his power to launch her into space, and he said she was gone in less than a second. If she survived that, it's gonna be real easy to mess up our efforts to fend her off, allowing us to stay for longer, and maybe forever. I don't care if Caillou has to live in fear of her, if I get to stay in Beverly Hills, my dream home, then it'll all be worth it.
What the f was that the woman from the news? Crystal. Get in here. What is it, Mike? Look down there. Oh no, that woman from the news. Why is she back? I don't know, but we need to update the public. Get back to the news station. On it. That's one hell of a woman. So what kind of videos are you making now? Well, my most recent one is a Caillou Gets Grounded one, but I've been focusing on creating longer videos of the Scooby Gang, since that's what the audience seems to like. <laughs> Out my head, wait, what? Where did my younger self go? Rise and shine. What the hell? Doris? I didn't think you'd survive re-entry into the atmosphere. Suffering endless drunk beatings from Boris, who is equally as strong as Fred by the way, will toughen you the hell up. That's off topic though. I brought you here because I need you to call Caillou. Oh hell no. After what Fred told me, I'm not letting you anywhere near him. Oh really? How about now? Oh crap okay okay I'm sorry. Just let me dial him. Not yet. Here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna pretend that you're Fred and you're calling Caillou to ask where he is. Then you're gonna tell me and I'll let you walk free. Okay. I'm calling him now. Oh hey Samster, how's it going? Actually Caillou, it's Fred. Oh my god I told you to piss off already. And why do you have Samster's phone? Mine died so I had to borrow his. What are you talking about? You called me while driving and I'm pretty sure Samster is in the bar where you got wasted after launching me. Um, um, I went with him. Wait. Wow, Samster, you really got me there. I forgot you used to sound like Fred before you- <coughs> Holy crap what was that, Samster? Samster what just happened? Samster answer me, bro, bro where are you, Samster, Samster? Come on Samster, pick up the phone. Please. Oh, cheer up. Look, we're here. Wow, this place actually does look pretty cool. Hell yeah it does. My mansion's over this way. Holy freaking crap Rosie this place is enormous. How do you clean everything? Easy, I get people to do that for me. Butlers, in fact, let me show you around. Oh hell yeah. So Fred, like how long until we get to the airport? I think we should be arriving soon. Yes, let's freaking go. I can't wait to brag to everyone on Instagram about my new mansion. Daphne, it's not our mansion, remember? We're just staying in Rosie's mansion until Doris is dealt with. Right. Sorry. Alright gang we're here. Get your suitcases. Um, Fred? Yeah? Look at the drop off zone. Why are the police everywhere? Wait, now I see it. What the hell? Wow, this is one hell of a hold up. Excuse me officer, what's going on? Ugh, we've been forced to halt all current boardings because there's currently a terrorist situation on one of the runways. What? What kind? Let me show you. Holy crap, that's a lot of bombs on that runway. Yay, it's been like this for almost an hour now. She hasn't listed her demands yet. Officer, I actually know that woman. Wait, really? What's her name? Now. Doris Anderson. Me and my gang ran into her a few hours ago. Gang? No, not that kind of gang. We're just a group of friends that have known each other our whole lives and we've always called ourselves a gang. Oh, wait, I recognize you now. You're Fred Jones, the Scooby Gang's leader. Yup, that's me. Anyways, Fred, if you know Doris, do you know how we can deal with her? Well, the only things Doris could want enough to no doubt stop us from reaching Caillou would be either him or Boris. Giving up Caillou is out of the question, and getting Boris is impossible since he's permanently frozen without a possibility of being freed. Wait, that idea from before. I can't tell this officer though. No. Sorry ma'am. Damn. Alright, sorry, but if you're traveling, you might need to just drive. God freaking damn it. Fred, what's going on? Apparently, 
Doris is holding the entire airport hostage by threatening to blow up the runways if any planes take off. She must have known we were gonna be here. But like how did she know we were gonna go here? Use your brain Shaggy. This is the only airport in Go City. Oh yeah. Like so are we just gonna drive? Yeah. Sorry gang. But on the plus side, I got a full refund on those tickets, so we can stop at a couple places on the way. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no. What is it Daphne? My phone just died. I can't survive without some form of entertainment in front of me all the time. Fred, could you turn on the news? Bro, who told Young Thug to do this? <laughs> His dress looks like some dirty s- <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Why his dress? <laughs> wow, I can't believe you of all people want to hear the news. Fred, you were in the wrong freaking lane while laughing at Daphne. What in the actual hell is wrong with you? Sorry Velma, Shaggy's roast was so good I had to get back there and join in. That's still no excuse to get up and stop driving while we're on the highway. Fred could you just turn on the news? Yeah, sure, whatever. This is GNN Breaking News. I am your host, Crystal. As you may already know, Doris Anderson has recently broken open ISS and headed back to Earth. However, around an hour ago, I saw her myself on the streets outside this building. Just a few minutes ago, I got a report from the Anderson resident saying there was the body of Bo Animator Samster 5677, and the witness saw Doris leaving the residence. We are now going live just outside the Anderson residence with reporter Mike Jones. Mike. Thank you, Crystal. I am outside the Anderson residence with a witness. So, explain again what happened. Oh, Mike, it was horrible. I was just going over to Kaya's house to see if he wanted to go out tonight. But then I saw Doris shoot Sandstrick 5677 from 2016. I don't know if that means the current one is dead too, but that's what I saw. There you have it. Crystal, back to you. Thank you, Mike. Another- Holy crap. So Semster's dead? No. No, he can't be. Thanks, 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 like holy crap, Fred, slow down. No, I have to make sure the news is lying. Oh my god, I just woke up. Why are we going so freaking fast? I still have no clue why you're so annoyed. This city is what's up. Left turn here. Oh yeah, I forgot to ask. Where are we going? I heard there was an old friend of ours living somewhere near here. Oh, who? You'll see. This is the place. Pull over here. Um, Rosie, this place looks kind of creepy. Yeah, a little. Why here of all places? Because it's hidden. Holy fucking shit, no way. Oh my god, classic Caillou, I never thought I'd see you again. Good thing you were wrong. Here, let's talk inside. Okay, classic me. You owe a huge explanation. Of course. Caillou, you were there, but Rosie Sonman and Dan throw me into the desert ten years ago. Yeah. It's not today I like remembering. Well, like it or not, it happened. Anyway, Somebody after that, I wandered God, the desert for a whole day a until a I a found a Los a Angeles a and a then I stumbled a into a gang, since I ended up in SC. Afterwards, I proved that I wasn't a pushover and could I handle the gang life by helping on the robbery, and since then I've been building up the reputation of being a feared criminal. Oh my freaking god, all of you shut the hell up, my brother is trying to explain something. Sorry, but can we please talk somewhere else? Sure. This place is pretty loud. Rosie, wait here for a bit. Fine. But be back soon. Anyway, you were saying? Right, so actually just recently, I got wind of Boris being frozen in the woods by you, and I thought, why would he be out there with you? But then I remember ten years ago. Yeah, that P.O.S. was just gonna leave me out there to die. 
so I gave him the ultimate punishment, freezing him in place, and, taking away his ability to use GoAnimate Logic using GoAnimate Logic. Whoa, I've heard of using GoAnimate Logic, but I've only seen the strongest in our universe do it, let alone taking away someone's ability to do it. Think of it like Key from Dragon Ball Z, everyone has it, but only the strong can use it, and the strongest have the full potential of it, unlocking abilities never seen before, hence, me being able to steal away Boris's Go Animate logic. Wow, and I thought I was powerful as a gang member. Anyway, I haven't been lazing around these past 10 years. I've been building up an arsenal so large it can be capable of taking down even Boris. The reason why I called you is because I need you to confirm if it's big enough or if I need to make it even bigger. Oh yeah, about that. Me freezing Boris in place isn't your average frozen in place. I made it so literally nothing can break through him so he'll be forced to just stand there until the end of time. Oh okay then, we'll just unfreeze him and then quickly get the job done. It's not that simple. Me taking away his go animate logic made it so it would be impossible to ever use it on him again. I'm not sure why it works like that, but it just does. No. I did not just spend the last 10 years grinding money for an enormous arsenal just to be told none of it would work. There's gotta be a way to get him unfrozen. Why do you even want him to be unfrozen? He's going through the worst form of torture ever right now. I don't care, I'd need to see him dead after what he did to me. Well sorry to burst your bubble classic me, but Boris isn't going anywhere, literally. And if mom finds out you're going after him... She'll be on your ass faster than you can say oh shit. Mom is exponentially weaker than dad, she won't be a problem. Still, I've waited way too long for this day, so you better find a way to unfreeze that asshole and soon. Did you not hear a word I just said? Dad's fate is sealed and there's nothing you can do about it. The most you can do right now would be to say whatever is on your mind to him with him being unable to act. If you two are done arguing, I have some news. Um... Why are you on the other roof? And how long were you there? I got kicked out of your freaking drug fest for being a minor, classic Caillou. And I got a text from Fred saying he needed you right now. What? Why? It's Samster. He's dead. Um, Caillou. Who is Samster? Samster please for the love of God don't be dead. What the hell kind of monster would do this to you? Like I am so freaking sorry bro. I had no clue you were this close. Just go back to the van. I need some alone time. Of course bro. Fred, think for a second. Doris knows you want to help Caillou. And she knew how close you and Samster were. She's doing this to get you away from her. I know this is super hard to do, but you need to try and get yourself back on track or Doris is gonna kill Caillou next, then maybe even you if she's that far gone. Yeah, maybe you're right. Even so, how are we gonna deal with her now? I don't know. We'll just have to hope for the best. Now let's get his body and bury it somewhere safe. Oh my god. So it's true. I'm so goddamn sorry Caillou. I should have been there to help. Fred, there was nothing you could do. You were already driving when it happened. The best thing we can do now is an idea I had hoped to never ever use. And what in the world would that be? 
We've gotta track down the other greatest co-animator on the planet, Richie Verdi. Wait, Richie Verdi? Holy crap, I haven't heard from him in years. Yeah, he hasn't posted since 2022, but he created single-handedly the greatest GoAnimate series known to mankind, Life Without Doris. That put him on the top with Samster and they dominated the GoAnimate universe for a while. Earlier today, I spoke with my long-lost brother Classic Caillou, and he said he wants to kill Dad for what he and Mom did to him. I gave it some thought, and it seems that killing Dad is gonna be the only way to stop Mom since it will most definitely put her on the edge of complete mental destruction, giving us a chance for the kill. That sounds like a great plan and all, but Boris told me himself that nothing, not even go animate logic can free him. And he's right to some extent, but since Richie Verdi is a Go-Animator, his level of control over Go-Animate logic extends far beyond we could ever hope of reaching. Trust me Fred, this is the only way, and I feel like this should just be the two of us doing this. Alright. I'll let the gang know. God, I can't believe we're really doing this. Alright Caillou, let's just get this over with. <laughs>